speaking of, here's an idea for you. Uh, tomorrow, the countdown is on, everybody. We're less than 24 hours away from NASA's latest moon mission. And for the first time ever, a private company spacecraft could land on the lunar surface. Xavier Walton is following it all from just outside Cape Canaveral this morning. Uh, Xavier, how cool is this? What more are you expecting from this mission? Mark, it is, uh, well, at least to me, it is the coolest thing, actually. It's all going to go down uh, just across the water here. That's the Kennedy Space Center on the other side. It's pretty hard to see this morning. Um, but you know you're getting closer and closer to launch when you start getting alerts on your phone for a sonic boom. The race to the moon is getting more crowded as countries like Japan, China, and Russia are vying to land softly on the lunar surface. Steely eyed missile men. Steve Altimus, president and CEO of Intuitive Machines, says his team is ready to make history with its moon mission, being the first commercial space company to land on the lunar surface. We're leading off our return to the moon with commercial companies, flying payloads for NASA for scientific and engineering discovery first before NASA brings its hardware. Are you ever taken aback by just the thought of like, hey, this is gonna be us, this is gonna be intuitive machines, we are going to be first. I stop and think about that uh, all the time. And lift off the of Falcon 9. Intuitive's Nova Sea lander is gonna hitch a ride on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket traveling to the lunar south pole. It's one of several commercial companies delivering payloads for NASA. And we're contributing as the precursor mission to the US Artemis program to put humans sustainably on the moon. And that's the goal, not only getting humans back on the moon, but staying there. Retired NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez believes this is a giant step in making that happen. I think it's great that uh, commercial entities are coming into the uh, uh, into the space exploration arena, basically enhancing our capabilities, because let's face it, uh, they, they're able to do things quicker. And it can't come quick enough for Steve Ultimus and Intuitive Machines. You know, Steve says, hey, we have worked so hard for years to get to this point. But after this launch, he's saying they're going to have to work even harder and harder. That launch slated for tonight. Well, really, tomorrow morning at 1 a.m., February 14th, uh, just behind me here at the Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, all in the name of uh, progress and research. This is going to be great. Xavier Walton, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.